So leaning back creates more. Oh, I see. Um, you know, make different shapes or whatever. Awesome. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Welcome back to Life with Feet, and I'm here with uh, my mentor of many years, Barb Thomas. And I had a question for you, Barb, okay. and I didn't want to ask until the. I know I'm dying to hear this question. Sounds it, like it, it's something big. <laughs> It has a lot to do with what I saw on, on Facebook, so it's probably something that you are familiar with because it was just this week that I saw you post it. Okay. Um, my question is, do you ever wish that you had arms? Oh, I know which post you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it was the day that I was carrying groceries, and, you know, I feel like I make 100 trips because I can't, you know, people with arms will load up both arms and try to get everything in one trip. Um, I just have this nub <laughs> so um you know sometimes i can carry two or three bags sometimes more on in one trip but this particular day whoever loaded up the groceries did not do so well and everything was falling out of the bags and things were rolling down my driveway oh. and i was like oh my god if there ever was a time i wish i had hands or a cabana boy <laughs> this would be the time <laughs> yeah so. i totally feel you there because it is kind of when you're I'm sure you do bigger, probably, grocery trips than I do, because I usually limit mine to small ones, mm -hmm. unless Patrick's with me, of course, mm -hmm. just to make it easier, because the heavy stuff can get kind of cumbersome. Yeah, well, I don't know. I do what I got to do. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. So, other than that day and that moment, is there any other moments in your life where you wished you, maybe not when you're younger, because we've all been there, I was there too, but like in the last year where you ever said, I wish I had arms? Uh, there's times when I wish I could put my hair up in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. So. You have your hair up right now, who did that? Oh, just a girl at the gym. I don't okay. even know who she was. It's, I usually just ask someone at the gym to throw it up for me. Okay, um, cool. So. Well, anyway, you figured it out, we just ask someone at the gym. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I get really good ponytails, sometimes I get horrible ones. <laughs> As long so as beggars can't be choosers, though, as long as it's out of my face. Exactly. My neck. Especially when it's 110 degrees here right. in Phoenix, Arizona. And I have a ton of hair, so it gets hot. You have, you're lucky to have thick hair, and my hair's kind of thin. Ask what did you think so I was going to ask? Did you have <laughs> no, any idea? I don't know. I seriously <laughs> I don't know. I have no, no idea. Seriously, I I no, you just said I don't want to know. Like, so I have no me. idea what that big question was going to be. You had no idea you had some kind of inkling? No. Nothing? Uh-uh. Okay, you sure? Uh -huh. I want to hear. <laughs> I don't mind, and I'm sure the viewers don't mind either. No, I don't. I don't. There was nothing you thought I was gonna ask. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. So anyway, that is that was the question I wanted to ask Barb, and I'll probably ask you another one some other time. Okay, sounds good. But I want to check out the uh, pole dancing first. Okay, so. sounds good. Just last week when I was at my lesson, we were looking up to see when my first lesson was, and it was um, August 25th. So tomorrow actually is my one year pole anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is awesome. I feel like you're a pro because I've seen some of your videos on Facebook. Uh, so not a pro. <laughs> but I mean, considering you've only been doing this for a year, that's really impressive to me what you've been able to do. And by the way, look what she has here in her living room. How many homes have a pole in their living room? It's actually my dining room. Like I don't that's have your... a dining room anymore. That's my dining oh, room. Oh, so you got rid of the table chairs and then put in the pole yep okay <laughs> well i mean that's encouraging that i guess it's better than you know worrying about eating just start dancing on a <laughs> on a pole right so what it what made you want to do this this is just so cool um just thought it'd be something fun to do kind of something that was on my bucket list and so i found a place in town actually they're in tempe that um, does lessons and signed up. Did they think you were crazy trying to do it without arms? I didn't tell them. You didn't? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you showed it. You know me. I like to entertain myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it'd be more fun if I didn't bother to tell them beforehand that I don't have arms. So I showed up and met my instructor. His name is Cedric. Um, and introduced myself and he said, um, I don't know that I can teach you. Let me go get Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then I heard them talking in there, and you could hear her saying, what? What do you mean? No arms? Like, I could hear a little bit, you know, and I'm laughing to myself, but um, they came back out. She gave him a few things that he could work with me on, and then he quickly realized that he was hugely underestimating me, so mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then we just hit it off and started trying new things, and I think I scare him sometimes because he sees my wheels turning, you know, and I'm like, oh, I think I could do this and you can tell he's nervous but um, yeah we always have fun and I learn new things and sometimes my ideas don't work at all <laughs> and sometimes they do so. okay cool that's it's so interesting to people with arms when they see us without and how we just like have a way of figuring things out mm -hmm. but we, you know we start thinking about it and they're like oh no <laughs> yeah I mean with the pole dancing it's definitely like I do private lessons, not with a class, just because obviously I'm different and I'm not doing all the same things they're doing. And I didn't get to start, you know, with an intro class, you know, or, you know, a beginner class. Because a lot of things that I do, because I am only using my legs and core strength, um, some of the stuff I'm doing is like level three and four. And I'm having to just jump into that. I don't get to learn all the progressions, you know, mm -hmm. that everyone else would typically learn so I think that's probably why it's taking me so long to to learn things because it's a whole like huge learning curve just all you know level three or four stuff thrown at me mm -hmm. to learn because I don't get to do all the progression so cool well I'm excited to see some of this with my own eyes because I've seen the <laughs> videos but I've had a lot of questions but I will tell you, Barb, it really uh, is amazing to see you do that because in my mind, I just never, I, I just never thought it, well, I knew it, anything's possible, but I was always wondering how would pole dancing work? So. Yeah, well, maybe we should get you in a pair of shorts and uh, let you try it. I have my my gym pants on, so maybe. Yeah, you can't, my pants don't work. Because <laughs> you need your skin <laughs> you to stick to it. need your skin to grip. Ah, uh, yeah. got it, okay. I know we don't have much time, but let's, let's I want to see if we can film you if that's cool. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. You know when you're wearing like um, bottoms and such and they ever like hike up, how do you like, like does it ever bother you like having to wedgie or something? <laughs> oh, like when I'm doing pole dancing? Yeah. Uh, no. You want or do you her. wear something? You want your butt hanging out for that. Really? <laughs> yeah. And you're going to edit that all that middle part out? Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Our whole discussion about wedgies. <laughs> so just... <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I have been so excited about this day to be here at Barb's house. She's going to show us some stuff, and who knows, I might be doing this on my, on my I don't have very much spare time, but who knows. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to demonstrate? Um, I honestly don't know what it's called. I'll just do this one, because it's one of my favorite ones that I can do. So, watch out. Go, dog. <laughs> He always has to be in the videos, yeah. I swear. It's like he knows I'm videoing pole and has to be in on it. Wow. And you can lean back. Just so leaning back creates more, oh, I see. Um, you, can just, you know, make different shapes or whatever. Awesome. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> That's great. Does that ever hurt your knees when you have that? Yeah, pole dancing hurts. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Insane. Yeah. So what is the hardest move you've ever done? Um, a suicide spin, but I won't do it still without a spot. So. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe. Bye. Perfect. Thank you. See, so you are a natural.